today you'll notice that I'm wearing glasses. That's because I look cool with glasses on. Today's little project is we're going to run a conduit along this wall and we've got a little obstacle to get past. Now, putting bends in this 50 mil conduit to get past this obstacle is going to be awfully difficult. We don't have uh, a bending spring for 50 mil and even if we could, I'm not going to put it over my knee. Um, we could put elbows in, but it's too slight an angle. It's a difficult one to get round. So what we're going to do is heat this conduit so that we can get past this obstacle. Now, if I heat this conduit and then push it in, this conduit is going to deform here. So we're going to protect that because the thermal inertia of this uh, cloth full of water is going to be high enough to stop that conduit from getting hot at this point. So we want to heat from back here where we're going to put one saddle through to here we're going to put the next saddle and um, that should be fine. Now heating up a conduit this size is going to be a little bit difficult with one of these. Heating up this conduit with something like this is far more appropriate but I'm in a bit of a mood today and you know how big is the conduit going to get? Let's try this bitch. Now you'll notice that I've removed the regulator. There's a very good reason for that. This thing is pathetic if there's a regulator connected, so let's just bypass that sucker. As you, can, as you can see, this will provide as much heat as I need. I've got the flame fairly low. If I really want to crank it up, I can. <laughs> Let's make it happen. You didn't catch that burning, did you? <laughs> now this will stay reasonably hot for a little while till I get this into place. wood's a bit hard. <sighs> All right, now the conduit's still a little bit soft, but uh, one way to cool it down is to just slide that through. And I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> 